today we're here to check out these two very old abandoned train stations. Both of these buildings were built by the Reading Railroad and they opened on December 8th, 1919. And their original purpose was to replace an even older train station that was here that was much smaller than these two because this place was experiencing a lot of growth at the time and the demand for the passenger rail service was increasing by a lot. These buildings closed for good on December 3rd, 1982, almost exactly 63 years to the day that they opened, and they've just been sitting here ever since. The passenger line that used to run through these tracks here was called the West Trenton Line, and there have been several proposals over the years to reopen that old line and actually renovate these buildings and make it a working train station again. There was some studies done by New Jersey Transit to see the viability of doing this, and it turns out that it would actually be a very busy station and that it would economically make sense to reopen this station but for whatever reason that hasn't happened yet and they're still sitting here nothing's been done as of now there have been no decisions on whether or not that project will go forward and no money's been allocated to it yet so we'll see what happens the thing that worries me though is that as i walk around these buildings the state of disrepair is becoming more and more obvious to me these buildings are in really rough shape and the longer they wait, the harder it's going to be to renovate these buildings. And I think it's at that point where it's almost not going to be possible to renovate these buildings, unfortunately. And these buildings are in such bad disrepair, in fact, that in 2019, Preservation New Jersey declared them as some of the most endangered buildings in the whole entire state. And what's even more frustrating is that even if these buildings weren't restored to an active train station once again, there have been many examples of old train stations being renovated to different things like community centers, senior centers, restaurants, and almost anything you can really think of. There's a lot of ways to get creative with an old train station. They're very historic and people love them. Nowadays, CSX actually owns this property and the only trains that roll through here anymore are freight trains. Hopefully New Jersey Transit and CSX can work something out to reopen these buildings as either active train stations again or put them to use in some other way like a restaurant or anything else that we talked about earlier. Anything at this point would be a lot better than them just sitting here and deteriorating to the point where they're not going to be usable anymore at all. Great. So this right here is going to be our only way inside. So we have made it to the inside of the bigger building of the two and you can see the old benches here. These are very typical old style train station benches. They still hold their character, but they're not holding anybody else. Yeah, this place has fallen into an incredible state of disrepair. can see all the roofing slate has fallen through the ceiling and is just laying here now. And there's also this very big old door that is extremely characteristic of an old train station. Big old beautiful windows. And there's another view of the basement. It's totally filled with water.
There's another hole in the floor here that shows right down to the basement and all of its stale water. I think they should get a sump pump. Old staircase that went upstairs at one point. There's really not much to see up here other than it looks like someone might have made that their camp over there. And you can see directly outside where the roof has caved in. So I'm not sure if this would have been like a storage area or if this would have been accessible to the public but looks like it would have been probably a little bit too small so my guess is that it would be it would have been for storage and look at just how steep and sketchy those stairs are because of the fact that these stairs are so steep that also leads me to believe that this probably wasn't for the public up here and in here, we have the old restroom. So we're at the smaller building now, and if you go around the back, the whole thing is actually caved right in. So you can just walk right through. I don't think there would be very much hope for this one being restored, unfortunately, but it's still really cool to see those same benches as in the other one. Very typical for a train station. Looks really cool with all the colorful graffiti. Something chilling about it. Seeing benches that used to sit a lot of people every day, just covered now in debris, old alcohol cans and graffiti everywhere, and paint peeling. Sir, can I get a train ticket? Sir, we've been closed for 40 years. So is that a no? That's a no. Okay. We just finished up checking out this abandoned train station. I'll see you in the next video.